said, if you if you're comfortable with me sharing it on the podcast, send me the weirdest thing you've ever, that's ever happened to you, right? So I had two people, two ladies, because being a lady is fucking weird. My friend Anna, she's uh she's my Croatian wife. She says, yeah, I said I was like either paranormal or whatever, you know, weirdest thing. She says here are my paranormal stories. I was trying to fall asleep, and I believe it was sleep paralysis. So here's how it went. It started to drift. And I got this overwhelming sensation of doom and felt like there was a dark force trying to snatch my soul away. It was so intense and literally paralyzing with a skull emoji. I got scared like a little bitch. <laughs> well, you are a tiny little woman, so. Uh, tried to scream and move, but couldn't. Kept staring into the abyss and thought about death. And I believe this is exactly what ego death feels like because damn big letters big letters really capitals and after a few minutes in parentheses during that time it felt like an eternity i managed to move and became more aware of my brain and what what's it doing but my adrenaline was wilding holy shit for those of you who have experienced sleep paralysis it's fucking insane i'm so glad i haven't had it in a long time but and you just feel this fucking a lot of the time you just feel this fucking darkness coming over you man you can't move but you're like half awake it's like you're in a dream state but you're in the world so you can see everything you can see but you usually you can't move at all so it feels like there's something holding you down but it's really just you're sleeping but you're awake at the same time and it's fucking insane the beautiful lovely anna says another encounter i was also very very sleepy and all of a sudden an even worse doom feeling came over me and try to take my whole consciousness away. I kid you not, it was the scariest thing that has happened to me yet. And it was so intense, bitch, I could compare it to attempted paranormal possession. Damn. Also heard a woman's screams. It's probably yours. <laughs> Very intense and thunder sounds. I hope it never happens again because shit, yeah. Jesus. Well, you know, uh, some people do believe in demonic possession. And uh, I gotta say, I, I feel like I might be one of them. Um, there's gotta be something going on. I mean, it's probably just a chemical reaction in your brain, but you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes you have shit like this where it's like, feels so real and it like really feels like it's happening to you, you know? And not, not that it's, not that you're creating it or whatever, not that your mind is just making it up. You know, there's, there's a bunch of different demons in the world, you know, there's a lot of different types of things that you could call demonic possession, such as, uh, I was drinking, man, whiskey. Whiskey is a fucking demon. I don't care what you say. I don't care what. Well, I can handle whiskey just fine. No, shut up. Okay. 